Now, from feeling Fatima's skin, normally it feels quite dry after she's done that. I can feel that it, it looks super hydrated, but I can feel that it's slightly tight. You know, it's yeah. not dry, it's a little bit tight. So what I would do in this case is put a bit of a hydration boost. I like this Sarah Chapman one. It's a serum. And then this gives you an intense boost really quickly. Just wipe it around. Is there any way you think I've missed? No. So it's a little bit tacky now, but that'll subside and go away. But it doesn't feel that tightness that it felt before, yeah, right? it doesn't. And then I like to put on an eye cream. I will go through all these products with you one by one. Alright. And options. Yeah. <laughs> and then with an eye cream, you need to put it like around the eye, like just around this area, because it will move towards the eye naturally anyway. And sometimes when people put it really close to their eye, it will go in their eye, yeah. and then you'll get, you know, sore eyes. So just tap it in. I think it's always good to use an eye cream. If you have fine lines, of course, and blonder, fairer skin will definitely get that um, crepiness already. But even when you're young, it's all about preventing it from happening. Let's yeah. slow the process down. So, you know, this is super light. Would you recommend using on the eyelids? No. No. You don't need that extra. It's normally here that yeah. the, 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 you get dehydrated. Yeah. The eyelids, sometimes people get dry eyelids, but it's normally eczema or something like that. And that needs, that, that's a, I think that's to do with what you're eating. I wouldn't use a topical cream. People often subscribe that, but it's not something I would, I would do. It's a very delicate, area around the eyes so just be really careful and be really kind then i'd move on to a moisturizer obviously there's all different types of moisturizers and um i'm going to talk you through them too i'm using the declior hydrofloral i like this because it kind of suits everyone it's just easy i can't make mistakes at work i just need something that everyone's skin is not going to react to it's you know um got oils um, natural oils in it and stuff so I just wipe that over the skin like that and really after that you you should you know you can go to bed like that or that's a good base for you to start makeup so that's a really natural gorgeous skin but that's a great place to start and that's how I start because we've already got that glow and it's coming from you we've put a few things on to help boost it but this is really you know what your skin's all about now and that's reality and that's real what I could do now so say you've done this and you wanted to go out or you were going to the gym, I wouldn't advocate wearing makeup, but there is something called Skin Insurance by Sarah Chapman. And this, I do love. Now smell this fast, because you're gonna like this. It's a tinted protective moisturizer. Smell that, see what you think. Mm, that's really nice. Really light Yeah, it's yeah. quite fresh. Yeah. So this is quite nice. And you know, if I'm just like, I don't want to put any makeup on, but I just want my skin to look amazing. This, and this works on everyone's skin tone because it's so light. Just gives you that beautiful, it just cracks slightly yeah. without being foundation. It's not like a BB cream at all, in fact. It's just, it's called Skin Insurance, so it protects you from, from the sun mm. and, um, and it's just got a lot of slight tint in it. So if anything you want to mask slightly, it just looks like you've got great skin. You know well, what I mean? I do but get a tiny bit of retinas around my cheeks. I mean, you could, you know, you could put a bit of concealer on there. Yeah. But also, you could go out like this yeah. and I still feel like your skin could breathe. Yeah, I really like this one. It's always good to pop a little bit of lip balm on. I use the Declior, but I like Creme de la Mer. That's a great lip balm. So good for bed. Oh, good for makeup. So that's how you cleanse and tone your skin and moisturise. So, have you got any questions, Fatima? Um, I was maybe thinking, like, would you have any 
different options like depending on the season and how my skin skin feels because like in the winter time it's a bit drier summertime's a bit oilier well actually i'm gonna do a film on each thing on a cleanser on a toner on a moisturizer to explain to you when you should use them why you should use them what are the best brands the ones that i like and you know whatever will suit you yeah so you better watch that <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Bye. Bye.